Hey y'all, it's Shay here. Um, obviously I'm not sitting in a very good spot right now, but just bear with me. It's just one video. Uh, no, I was talking before about, you know, doing multiple videos, you know, stuff on the regular. I'm sorry about that. It just kind of got a little tied up with a bunch of things. Um, pretty much between school, trying to get some schoolwork done, whatever, um, and... Um, as most of you guys may know, I'm currently looking and trying to find a place. I want to thank everybody who's been, you know, kind of keeping informed me on that. You know, I know we were talking before about, you know, should I buy a, you know, purchase land and get a brand new home? Or should I just uh, purchase a home? Or should I get a foreclosure? Um, a lot of you guys have given me a lot of good ideas. Um, so we'll just see where it goes from there. I'm taking a look at a couple different places right now. Um, see how far that'll get me, but like I said, this is something that I want for right now for the next couple years until I finish at Coastal, um, and then by then hopefully I'll be able to actually get into grad school at NC State, and hopefully by then I can actually use the property as a rental for college kids. Uh, we'll see how far that takes us, but as of right now, I'm trying to look for something, um, looking something more of like a three-bed, two-bath, or three-bed, three-bath, um, who knows said found a couple really good places right now found one that I really wanted that ended up losing it at the last minute that's okay things happen um, so if you guys have any suggestions on anything please feel free to let me know um, like your opinions as well um, the more opinions the better so I know like I said a couple of you have said yes absolutely get um, get your own land and build your own place I've had others that said don't get your own land because it's just way too expensive and it's just going to hurt you in the long run. I've had people that said get a foreclosure, you know, it's going to it's going to benefit you in the long run. I've had others said don't get a foreclosure, it's just going to be awful in the long run. Um, had those you said buy you know buy something outright, you know. Others that said don't do it. So guys, just give me your opinions. I I do appreciate any everybody's opinions. Um, On to a few other things. Um, obviously. Coastal, there's a lot of stuff that's been going on. Um, like I said, they had their career, or not their career, their um, club recruitment day, which was last week, and then they had to do it again on Monday because of the rain. Uh, speaking of the rain, it's been raining like there's no tomorrow. I think the only day that we had a decent day was Monday? I don't remember. Uh, it's one of those deals, but um, Coastal's football stadium, uh, their new video board is just about done. I think most of it's completed. Uh, which looks awesome. Uh, can't wait to work with that. Uh, Coastal's first game is this Saturday at 6 o'clock. Go Shants! I'll be there. I'll be recording. Um, doing live audio streaming. Uh, I think I found out that I will be working with the wireless camera, which gives me a little bit more of a free range to do, you know, different things. So I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, what else? What else is going on on campus? Oh, movie night tomorrow night at Prince Lawn. Um, they're showing the Avengers. Um, I know they're saying if it does happen to rain, they'll be moving the movie inside to the Wall Auditorium, which I guess the Wall Auditorium got changed to some other name. Who knows? I, they keep changing things up on us all the time. I just know what I know, and that's about it. Um, so that would be definitely cool. Um, something else I wanted to talk about, um, the growing gas prices. I don't know what the deal is with that right now. Um, I know there was some speculation saying because of um, Isaac is the reason why the gas prices are going up, but my curiosity is, you know, if the gas prices are going up, isn't it the, you know, the manufacturers, I mean, they're making all this money anyway for the gas. My question is, is it the manufacturers, you know, the companies that are actually raising the prices, or is it the gas stations that are just trying to make a little extra money and decide to raise the prices themselves, you know, just to get a little extra money? Because I know the gas station right up the road for me Yesterday I left, it was 3.49. I get home last night, it was 3.59. Now it's back down to 3.56. And it's like, it it just boggles my mind. Like, why would why would it continue, continue to fluctuate like that? So I'm thinking, is it the gas stations themselves are, that are trying to change the prices up because they're trying to make a little bit more money, or what? I mean, I remember several years ago when I was only paying $15 for a tank of gas. You know, 10 gallons. That was, and I was complaining back then because that was too much money. But, you know, now when I'm spending almost triple that, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's just in the last couple of years. Um, 
So I would like your opinion on that. Um, if you guys have anything you want to add to that, you know, like I said, it's, this is completely unbiased, you know, so I'm not going to point it, point fingers in either direction, you know. Obviously, it might be a good thing, it might be a bad thing, who knows. I just know at this point, it just doesn't seem right that we're spending all this money for gas, and, you know, the gas companies are making all this money, and yet where is it going to, and what are they doing with it, and all this other stuff. So, I don't know. What's your opinion on it, guys? Uh, let me know. Uh, comment. Do whatever. Blog about it. You know, whatever it is you want to do to answer that question. Um, on another note, um, one thing that I thought was kind of funny, bye, I don't know who was just here, but see you later. Um, another thing, something that I mentioned uh, the other day on Facebook, if you guys were noticing, is how I just love getting a kick out of, you know, going up to the gas stations and playing, you know, Journey or Foreigner or Led Zeppelin, you know, I'll be blasting that thing in the car and I'll have a bunch of the older generation standing around me staring at me like, is this, she really, this, what, what's going on? It's just hilarious. It's hilarious. I've had a couple of people that, that have said, well, it's nice to know that, you know, the younger generations are still listening to that kind of stuff. I've just had people that have sat and stared. And it's just funny to watch. Old people are so comical, especially when you're listening to their music that they grew up with. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my deal for right now. Um, if I have anything else, I'll let you guys know. Um, school's been going pretty well. It's been a little chaotic, especially not having, uh, all the funds to be able to buy books or whatever right now, but it is what it is. So, um, guys, I guess I'll see y'all later. Have a good afternoon. Peace out.